We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? You didn't know the words of the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. It may not mean much to you, but the High Matriarchs work hard to keep us strong. So? Your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. yourselves what will it take to get you out of here
<laughs> Your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Ervala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way, put it forward Just now. Stop right there. Turn around. I can't see! Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging! Gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is he crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? Oh. Keep at it. She is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Ah!
fire. Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Give up. Oh no, there's more! They keep coming! How many are there? There's more of them. Your end has come. Got eyes on. We can't hold them. Oh, mother, help us. Kill them. Descend while we have a chance. Get back! weapons.
Dying. <gasps> to think her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? My clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Matriarchs are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... killer. Where are they? I'm picking up some kind of signal. like the ruins I fell into when I was young. And Laura 
didn't build this place. The old ones did. But why? There. With the rest of my things. and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. about come what is this place the great chamber where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from All Mother herself. 
But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the Goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lansra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a Seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May All Mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn.
our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done. Or as the need arises. So, I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker blessing will protect you. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. Why are the ruins of the Metal World forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of Metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Uh, then, this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a Seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful. We will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs.